Happy Up the Worth Wednesday. Welcome to the day in the life of running a tropical fish tour that is closing down. Uh, we are about 10 minutes away from getting into the three Let's Talk Rooms podcast. So we're going to do that and you're going to work out what we're going to do for the rest of the day. So click this link up here. I do that uh, for a longer time, so when I mean anything, I try and remember to put the link in. It'll be a link to the, the podcast. This week we're doing a AMA. It could get hectic, it could get boring, it could get crazy. Who knows what's going to go on. However, I think this week it might actually stay on topic. Topic? On topic? On topic. So we'll see how we go. Gives away, Easy. Brian. Gives away. It didn't used to work. That. That was an absolute cracker of an episode. Arguably, I think the best one in a long time. Maybe the best one ever. I'm not sure. But that was great fun. Plenty of banter. We actually talked about fish. But we also stayed on topics it's on top on topic because it was like a ask us anything type of drive and so people were asking us fish stuff so that that was an absolute gem of a podcast i loved every minute of it uh it's available on youtube right now <laughs> or uh we had to find it on spotify on sunday morning new zealand time at nine in the a.m right gonna make a coffee I'm gonna get cracking on with the day just doing my morning rounds and one word, one word, one word to describe this. I want you to use one word to describe this as well. My word is balls. Maybe a big floppy donkey dick, I don't know. Uh, so these guys were looking real rough yesterday, salted the crap out of them, uh, but they didn't, didn't last overnight. Part of it, like they had lots of, you can see there, we're, we're going through a pretty ish, bit of an issue there. I think part of it originally was the pump not working and then they just got a, a issue going on with them and uh, yeah, they haven't lasted overnight, so that sucks. That sucks, Wolves. Uh, so first things first, I've got to clear through that, uh, sort that out. Um, everything else in here is looking absolutely fine. I'm not having a tremendous run with those African butterflies. I bought them off a local hobbyist, when I say local hobbyist, one from a crash which is like five or so hours away. Uh, got a really good deal on them, uh, cleaned them out, supporting the hobby, all that kind of stuff. Um, first night of having some in an open water tank, about 12 of them jumped out. Uh, I haven't sold one and I've just lost an entire tank full. So, yeah, maybe consider a bad investment, but yeah, I think they're really cool fish. Uh, I'm just having a wee bit of a bad run on them as well. I genuinely thought they would sell a bit better uh, because I think they're really cool. They're great little placid uh, community fish, but alas, they have not. So, yeah, I'll clean that tank out and then we'll uh, get on with the day. Unfortunate start. As I was hooking them all out, we got our frozen order. How good. So, this is pretty good. I'm happy with this. Uh, this will absolutely be our last uh, frozen food order. Um, it was meant to arrive about 10 days ago, but one reason or another, it arrived today. So that's all good. Uh, turned up on frozen refrigeration, so there'll be zero chance that there is any defrosted stuff, which is fantastic. Uh, so we're going to load all this up, chuck it in the freezer, uh, get them on the website. So if you want some frozens, get amongst it. Got one. One bag of plants has arrived. The other one's not being sent until tomorrow, uh, tonight, sorry. Uh, so I think I might limit what we can do as far as plants go. Um, I'll pack what I can pack. And clearly I can't pack what I can't pack. So that will be number one priority once we get these frozen done. Let's get the tank all sorted out. And then the next priority, we're going to spend some time getting in here, getting the sucker cleaned up. So yeah, I think that'll be the bulk of the day. Let's go. Time. For today's Algorithm Engages, where I ask you a question, you like the video, you subscribe if you haven't already, you comment, YouTube picks up these videos, then pick up the next Friday coffee date, which is a hell of a good time. This one is an absolute doozy, and I'm going to out myself big time. So my question for you to answer is this. 
What is the most embarrassing thing you have ever had to wear? On the surface, this might, might sound pretty lame, but what I had to wear once. I'll set the scene. It was New Year's Eve. Uh, we're going to go 2004-ish. I was flatting with some of my mates. I, um, I had no money. We were going out to town. I thought, man, I've got no money. I can't get in. Can't afford the cover charge. Can't afford the beers. I was already well and truly drunk by then. My mate's like, sweet ass, bro. I'll pay for your entire night out tonight if tomorrow morning you wash my car in a bikini. Me being me, skin full of beersies. Yeah, sweet ass, bro. Good as gold. We went out. I absolutely did not make the most of that deal. Um, I definitely had a few beers and he paid for my cover charges, but I didn't get the most of my deal. Come the morning, really ridiculously dusty, like stupid dusty. He's like, come right, let's get it sorted. I'm like, what? Let's get what sort of that? You're washing my car. I was like, oh no. So in a bikini, I'm like, oh no. So somehow he pulled out this uh, pink bikini, so we're talking about New Year's Day now. This pink bikini, and we live on the main road. Pulled his car off the main road because there was no back area or anything like that. I'm out there washing his car in a pink bikini. To make it, to his offense, he bought me another box of beer while we were doing it, so that was fun and games. Then a couple of the other boys were like, hey, if you're doing it, we'll do it too. So I ended up getting another three or four dozen boxes, boxes, three or four dozen beers while I was doing it. So New Year's Day, we were, we were on it as well. But I was wearing this bright pink bikini. There's photos of me with uh, cops driving past, me bending over, touching my toes. It was a right, well, actually, I think my girlfriend at the time gave him the bikini. I can't remember. Anyway, it was a hell of a time. It was a hell of a sight. There was more than one cop car drove past because we know exactly what they were thinking. So I ended up washing three or four cars, getting a few dozen beersies, and basically went on a two or three day bender because of it. So it was worth it in the end, but not worth it at the night. So that is easy, easy, most embarrassing thing I've ever worn. Um, please don't think any worse of me for that. It is what it is. Young dumb Cam does dumb stuff, and not even the young dumb Cam from Three Inch Aquariums. Anyway, what is the most embarrassing thing you have worn? Please let us know in the comments down below. Like the video. Please don't share this video because you know. Uh, but definitely subscribe if you haven't. Let's get on with a damn life and running a tropical fish store that is closing down. The sun is being a total dick and hiding behind the clouds, but it is 11 a.m. The doors are unlocked. Let's crack it on. Here is the before. Oh crap, didn't really zone in again. This isn't working. Anyway, here is the freezer before. Let's stock it up. And we're locked and loaded. Uh, I like this new packaging. That's kind of cool. Uh, what I don't like is I used to have to get three or four units across the front, but I can only get two and a bit with the old stuff, so um, it's unfortunate. I like these poly boxes, they're going to be great for sending frozen foods, because they're small, which is easy. Uh, but I dislike that they're wide, so um, yeah, ups and downs. Uh, this is a new range of New Zealand, same supply that was bringing over from Nutrition, which apparently is no longer available anymore, so they've branched out and done their own stuff called Frozen Nutrition. So I'm very interested to try to see Daphnia and the Tubi fix myself. So we'll see how we go. That's what we got for now. Boys are looking rather thick today. Yes they are. We're already making plenty of noise today, so I can assure you, Blake, it's not me farting. I have not been on the beans, it is the frogs making froggy frogtacular noises. Before I forget, we also got frozen brine shrimp, so uh, yeah. I'll take a can for me to feed out the back. Oh, I need a can opener. Well, I think I've got a can opener. And we'll have one for sale. We'll break some of these up a little bit to make everyone's life a bit easier as well. And today we're going to hatch some more brine shrimp. Oh, we new frozen food loaded up onto the website, except for the tuba fix and the daphnia because we had never had them before. Uh, which means, I'm going to crack open a box of each and see what they're like. So that is done. Um, I've just realized, like when we did our website rebuild earlier this year, uh, we categorized everything really neatly, but there's actually no tab for frozen foods. And I've been wondering for a while why we don't sell a heck of a lot of frozen food online. I assumed it was because freight was quite expensive for frozen food. Wasn't entirely sure. 
might be because they're not being easy to find. So I've got to remember how to recategorize everything and put them in the right tab. Um, so I'm going to do that. Uh, we've also put the poll up for the three Let's Talk Aquariums podcast on what the three of us are potentially going to have a wee breeding challenge with. Honey, dwarf gouramis, rummy nose tetras, uh, glow light tetras, and dwarf neon rainbow fish. So if you want to jump onto the three Let's Talk Aquariums podcast, YouTube, look in the um, community tab, have a wee vote on what you think would be cool for us to challenge each other with um, breeding. That's up there. Going to get this website sort of lined up a little bit better. Going to set up the brine shrimp and then we're going to crack into uh, the office and get that cleaned up. It's been a pretty slow day as far as people coming in today. There's only been two or three so far, uh, which means I've been able to power through this quite nicely. Hopefully, well, I want more people to come in to buy some stuff, but equally I want not people to come in so I can get some stuff done. So maybe a nice wee mix would be handy. Anyway, we'll just crack on from here. Oh, right, 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 right. One of each, two of fix Daphnia. Berry stuff, chia seeds. Pop a, pop a packet, pop a packet of each. A couple of cubes of each, I guess. To frost them into individual stuff and we'll see how they go. Look pretty good so far, nice and full, but we'll see how much liquid and stuff like that's in them. So I've just pushed out a line of each, so five cubes. Uh, they came out really easy, which is always a bonus. I hate it when you pop open frozen food and it like the container doesn't pop and the bloody plastic rips and it goes to shit on you so good start so far so we'll leave in a couple of hours to frost it all and um we'll see what it's like while we wait for that to defrost let me get my can of brown shrimp eggs these are the last ones these are significantly darker in color like you can very very clearly see the difference in color so uh, i've set a brown hatch up putting uh four large teaspoons uh, so we'll set that up, see how long these take to get going. Alright, we're up and going. Uh, tin says 18 to 24 hours, it is exactly 1pm right now on Wednesday afternoon, so I reckon by about 9am or midday tomorrow, we should have some eatable, 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 feedable brine shrimp. Tune in tomorrow to find out. Almost. As soon as I said it's been quite slow, relatively okay, got a few things to do, we're gonna get done. I've just been had a massive bums rush of people coming, bums rush of people coming, which is cool. Great speaking to people, talking about fish, selling some fish, all that kind of stuff. So it's a catch 22. Just done my dishes. Um, front hoses look awesome. This is just a daily reminder that I think they are freaking cool. Oh, look at how beautiful they are. It's a beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm uh, going to pack some plant orders, can only do two or three orders while we're waiting for the rest of them to arrive unfortunately, but it is what it is, and then we're going to get into sorting out some of the office. You might get some more front hose look before the end of the day though, because man they are cool! Alright, not too sure where to start here. Maybe I should start by taking my books, getting a box, taking my books. Put them in the car, that's a good option. We'll do that. Although it makes logic start there. No, we'll do that. Box and books. Get rid of the box and books. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. And I'll work in through here. Get things like rubbish. Random boxes and some brown trumpy eggs. Okay, we'll start. Thank you for listening to murmur to myself. Just working through my office. And found the liddy thing that goes well, it doesn't exactly go on this tank, but it goes with a stand. It's not quite the right thing for the tank, but it's just not right for there. It's only a 400 and I think it's an allowance of 500 or something like that. So, looks pretty slick though. I thought I had a liar, a liar, a buyer lined up for this, but it, um, yeah, fell through. So, still got it. Might take it, no, I won't take it home. Looks pretty good though. Group of tetras and some Corridor Doridor 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 Corridor Dine. There we go. Buzzing around the bottom would look pretty freaking red. Maybe an L number or two. A couple of nice saw plants. All of a sudden we've got a nice Amazon based display tank. Just like that. More frontos I love. 
just because, man, those lupi are popping. Pop it like it's hard. Pop it like it's, they're going, yeah, they look really good. Contrasting, amazing. You see why they're called lemon drop circlets? Spectacular. So here are our frozens. Looks pretty gross to be totally fair. And um, relatively liquidy, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, it seems like quite a bit of liquid, quite a little water in there. We'll see how the fish go eating it. Also just realised that 10 cubes of the amount of fish we've got might begin to be pushing the amount of fish that we need to feed. No, food we've got to feed, but you know what I mean. Might be a little bit too much, but we'll see how we go. You know, we're going to feed the diamond tetra some of this and see how we go. Yeah, they are. I feed them something yesterday. Good work, Cam. Uh, what did I feed them yesterday? Just a bit of the Dr. Vasilier's food. And they went to like a real crazy feeding frenzy. It was really awesome to watch. Kind of like what they're doing now, but way more intense because the food hit the middle of the water column real quickly. And so they're all buzzing around the middle going and knocking fucks, so that was kind of cool. But it would appear that there's no real issue with feeding them at this one. I'm going to see a workout what I just feed, so hold the line, call it. So the lighter one is Daphnia. Hold on. And the darker one is Tuberfix. So yeah. Looked pretty good so far, at least with that Daphnia. No real surprises there. So, yeah, I might actually put a little bit of liquid in there because using the old pipette, it's not quite drawing that much, making it difficult. So, put some more water into this one just to load it up a bit more. If you were just dropping cubes in or pouring in, it probably wouldn't matter, but because I'm using a pipette size so syringe, it makes it a bit harder. So, just dumped some tube effects in with the pea puffers and they went for it straight away. Well, that's a cool option for pea puffer owners. Frozen tube fix. So I'll be on the live brine shrimp again daily as of tomorrow, as long as they hatch right, I guess. Let's see what the glow light down here is think. Looks like quite a dirty food. Just don't know if I love. Look, I made a tube fix ring. Oh, yeah, they're going for it. They're going to be going on it. So the five cubes uh, went out the back and managed to feed about 22 tanks so it's not too bad just using pipette with a little bit of water so um, yeah it's not too bad of a return to be totally fair these guys are going pretty cool for it too so you know drummers there so the fish are absolutely loving it there's no issues there they are chomping it back I don't know if I'm loving how cloudy it's making the water, or dirty as it were, so there's a bit of up and a bit of a down to it. Yeah, the fish are going crazy for it, they've got no issues with it whatsoever, but yeah, just seem to dirty up the water a smidgen more than I would have liked. And to be fair, we can see this. It looks a heck of a lot like kava. I'm not willing to drink this one though. And just because, for one more last time, today, Rondos of Love. On the podcast today, we were talking about Cynodontis. I think that might be next week's topic. It's a fish that all three of us agree are cool, and all three of us actually like. So we might actually be able to talk about the fishiness next week. We will see. But before then, Rondos are Lupit. Far out, they're cool. So, so good one. So, so good one.